In September 2012, I attended a summer school aimed at increasing interethnic contact among youth living in Bosnia and Herzegovina. There, I had an interesting conversation with another participant from Mostar. She told me that in the place where she lives, people are against forming strong intergroup bonds due to believing that others might change and even corrupt their ways, traditions, and values. Her experience left a big impression on me. It got me thinking, would people be more open to others if they perceived that the status of their in-group would not be threatened in the future? Fast forward another 10 years, and I'm doing my PhD on exactly that topic. In the psychology of intergroup relations, there is a concept described as collective continuity, a belief that group values and traditions are coherently linked to the past, present, and future. Although previous work demonstrated that perceived continuity with the in-group's past increases one's self-esteem and social well-being, it has also led adverse effect on intergroup relations by increasing negative attitudes towards outgroups or people not belonging to the in-group. Our research takes a completely different approach by focusing on the future of the group. We have introduced the concept of future collective continuity as the degree one believes that different important events that start from the in-groups present and end at some point in the future form a strong temporal link. The idea is that the connection to the in-groups future can be increased by asking people to think about the ways the in-group will remain the same, vividly imagine its future, and to foster a positive attitude towards that future. Our studies have shown us that all three aspects of future collective continuity increased pro-social motivation, while at the same time decreasing prejudice targeting towards the outgroup. So, how does future collective continuity work? So far, we have identified two possible answers. First, future collective continuity might make the importance of a positive in-group identity more salient, thus making in-group members more motivated to help other groups. Second, by highlighting that the in-group will not significantly change over time, individuals might feel that their in-group identity will not be threatened, which is an important factor in becoming more open towards others. Our research highlights the important role of assuring people that their in-group identity will remain the same in the future. In other words, the knowledge that our ways are not under the threat of change might make us act towards others different from us with more approval and care.